The case with the Anne Arundel County officer started when a resident snapped a picture of an Oath Keeper's hat in a police car. The patrol car was marked, and she says the hat was clearly on display in the back window. The woman who filed the complaint didn't want to be identified. I took the picture, went to the police headquarters, and said I didn't like what I saw. And the department reacted to her complaint quickly. She filed it on Monday. Tuesday, the police chief announced that the officer has been suspended pending the outcome of an internal investigation. The group, the Oath Keepers, is an organization that espouses a certain political ideology. Police officers are not allowed to espouse political ideology when they're representing themselves as police officers. The Oath Keepers organization recruits current and former members of the military, police, and first responders. They're perhaps best known for their presence in Ferguson, Missouri, after the police shooting of Michael Brown. Media organizations reported that members attended protests heavily armed with semi-automatic weapons. Some members were also involved in the armed standoff between protesters and law enforcement at Clive and Bundy's ranch in Nevada. There are people who have one perception of what Oath Keepers means, and there's people who have an entirely different perception of what Oath Keepers means. I think what's important to note at this point is that police don't have the ability in uniform or representing themselves as police to espouse any political ideology. And so the Oath Keepers have been included on the list of some hate watch groups, including the Anti-Defamation League and the Southern Poverty Law Center. The police chief did not give details about the terms of the officer's suspension. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.